Hi, Jacob here with the Nature Conservancy of Canada, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to control the invasive dog strangling vine. Dog strangling vine, or DSV, was brought to North America in the mid 1800s for use in gardens. It grows to two meters by wrapping around trees or other plants. A member of the milkweed family, DSV is a hardy perennial invader that can thrive in a wide range of habitats. It forms thick mats of vegetation that hinders recreational activities, chokes out native species, and even impacts managed woodlots. Dog strangling vine is tough. Yep, there's some dog strangling vine. But Chris and Jordan from NCC's invasive species team are tougher and they're going to show us how they wrangle DSV. To control small patches dog strangling vine on your property, you can simply just hand pull the plant or you can use a small trowel or shovel to ensure that you remove the whole root system and that it doesn't re-sprout and grow in the future. It is important that you don't compost pulled plants as they can leach toxins into the soil. Instead, allow the plant and roots to dry out and dispose of them. If plants have seed pods, put the plants in a garbage bag and let it cook in the sun for one to two weeks. While pulling or digging can control small populations of DSV, for larger infestations, the use of herbicide may be necessary. You can visit the Ontario Invasive Plant Council website for more information on chemical control options. Anyone using a herbicide is responsible for complying with all federal and provincial legislation. Once the control is complete, you may wish to perform some simple restoration on the control site, such as mulching, seeding, or planting native plants. These efforts can help prevent the return of DSV. And remember to revisit the control site to monitor for any regrowth or plants that may have escaped your initial efforts. When you're done controlling any invasive species, it's important to thoroughly clean your clothing and equipment using disinfecting wipes or a mild water and bleach solution, so you don't inadvertently spread the species you're trying to control. Thank you for watching, and thanks for giving nature a helping hand by keeping dog strangling vine at bay.